Welcome to Around Us, your gateway to the marvels of the universe. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through our solar system, a celestial neighborhood governed by the sun, a gigantic sphere of plasma that dominates this vast expanse with its gravitational pull. The sun, with its equatorial radius of about 696,000 kilometers, is not just the heart of our solar system, but also a critical source of energy for life as we know it, accounting for approximately 99.86% of the solar system's total mass. It orchestrates the ballet of planets, moons, comets, and asteroids that dance around it. Our exploration will cover the unique characteristics and scientific mysteries of the forerunner, planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Join us on Around Us as we delve into the depths of space to uncover the secrets of these terrestrial worlds. Around Us Mercury, the swift messenger. Mercury, named after the Roman deity who was the messenger to the gods. Mercury orbits the sun at an average distance of approximately 57.9 million kilometers, 36 million miles, completing a full orbit in just 88 Earth days. This swift orbital period earns it the title of the fastest planet in the solar system. However, Mercury's rotation is peculiarly slow, with a single day-night cycle lasting about 176 Earth days, due to its 3-2 to spin orbit resonance. This means that for every two orbits around the Sun, Mercury rotates on its axis three times. This unique aspect of Mercury's rotation is to extreme variations in temperature. The planet's slow rotation combined with its lack of a significant atmosphere, allows surface temperatures to soar up to 430 C 800 F during the day and plummet to minus 180 C to 90 F at night, marking the most significant temperature fluctuations of any planet in the solar system. Mercury's surface is heavily cratered, reminiscent of the Moon with vast, flat plains and steep cliffs lobate scarps scattered throughout. These cliffs, some up to hundreds of kilometers long and towering up to a kilometer high, are thought to have formed as the planet's interior cooled and contracted. One of the most striking features on Mercury is the Calaris Basin, a massive impact crater about 1,550 kilometers 960 miles in diameter. The impact that created the Calaris Basin was so powerful that it caused lava eruptions and left a concentric pattern of fractures on the opposite side of the planet. Recent missions, like NASA's Messenger spacecraft, have revealed evidence of past volcanic activity on Mercury, including smooth plains and vents indicating explosive volcanic eruptions. These findings suggest that Mercury was geologically active for a significant part of its history, challenging previous assumptions about its development. One of the most surprising discoveries about Mercury is the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at its poles. Despite the planet's proximity to the sun and extreme surface temperatures, these craters never see sunlight, allowing ice to exist there. This discovery, made by radar observations from Earth and confirmed by the Messenger mission, suggests that Mercury's environment is more complex than previously thought. The existence of water ice on Mercury raises intriguing questions about the delivery of water and other volatile compounds throughout the solar system. It is hypothesized that comets and meteoroids colliding with Mercury over billions of years could have deposited these volatiles on the planet's surface. 
Mercury possesses a global magnetic field, about 1% the strength of Earth's, indicating an active, partially molten outer core. The presence of a magnetic field was a surprising discovery, made by Mariner 10 in the 1970s. As Mercury's small size and slow rotation suggested it might not be capable of sustaining dynamo action in its core. Additionally, Mercury has a thin exosphere, composed of atoms blasted off its surface by the solar wind and micrometeoroid impacts. This exosphere, though not a true atmosphere, contains hydrogen, helium, oxygen, sodium, calcium, potassium, and water vapor, providing clues to the planet's composition and the processes affecting its surface. Venus, Earth's fiery twin. Venus, often dubbed Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and mass, is an enigma wrapped in a thick, toxic atmosphere. This second planet from the Sun presents conditions that are the antithesis of habitable, yet it holds invaluable clues to understanding planetary atmospheres, greenhouse effects, and perhaps the history of Earth itself. Let's dive deeper into the mysteries of Venus, exploring its atmosphere, surface conditions, and the intriguing possibility of ancient oceans and life. Venus's atmosphere is predominantly composed of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, with clouds of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, making it extremely hostile to life as we know it. This thick blanket of CO2 creates the most intense greenhouse effect in the solar system, trapping heat and raising surface temperatures to a scorching for 170 Celsius, 878 F, hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure at Venus's surface is crushing, about 90 to times that of Earth's at sea level, equivalent to being nearly a kilometer underwater. The planet's atmosphere is also home to a peculiar phenomenon known as superrotation. The upper atmosphere circles the planet in just four Earth days, much faster than the planet's rotation period of 243 Earth days. This creates a violent wind system that perpetuates the thick cloud cover, preventing direct observation of the surface by visible light. Venus's surface is a desolate landscape, marked by vast plains, highland regions, and tens of thousands of volcanoes, some of which may still be active. The largest volcano, Motmans, stands nearly 8 kilometers 5 miles high. Venus's surface shows evidence of extensive volcanic activity, which may play a critical role in recycling the planet's crust. Radar mapping, primarily by the Magellan spacecraft, has revealed that Venus has continents like highlands called Terrae and several large impact craters. Interestingly, the relatively low number of craters compared to the Moon or Mercury suggests a young surface, hinting at recent volcanic resurfacing. This has led scientists to speculate that Venus might still be geologically active. One of the most compelling mysteries of Venus is the fate of its water. Scientists believe Venus once harbored significant amounts of water, possibly in the form of oceans. However, the runaway greenhouse effect would have caused any surface water to evaporate, with the water vapor then broken down by sunlight and hydrogen escaping into space. This catastrophic loss of water is thought to have dramatically changed the planet's climate and geology. The European Space Agency's Venus Express spacecraft found evidence that suggests Venus may have had liquid water on its surface for up to two billion years much longer than previously thought. This extended period of potential habitability raises the intriguing possibility that life could have existed on Venus in the distant past. The discovery of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere by astronomers in 2020 raised eyebrows across the scientific community. On Earth, 
phosphine is produced by biological processes, leading to speculation about the possibility of life in the Venusian clouds, where conditions are less harsh than on the surface. However, further analysis and missions are necessary to confirm these findings and explore their implications. Future missions to Venus, such as NASA's Veritas Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSA, Topography, and Spectroscopy, and ESAS Envision, aim to further unravel the planet's mysteries. These missions will focus on understanding Venus's geological history, atmospheric composition, and potential forepast habitability, providing critical insights not only into Venus itself, but also into the processes that shape terrestrial planets. Venus reminds us that our neighboring planets can be wildly different from our own, despite initial appearances. Its hostile environment, complex atmosphere, and geological activity make it an intriguing subject for scientific investigation. By studying Venus, we gain insights into the potential for extreme greenhouse conditions on Earth and the evolution of planetary atmospheres, guiding our search for life in the universe as we plan future missions to this enigmatic world. Venus continues to hold a mirror to our planet's past and future, challenging us to understand the forces that shape the cosmos. As we conclude this fascinating journey through the thick, sulfuric clouds and over the scorching surface of Venus, our sister planet, we've only scratched the surface of the mysteries and wonders our solar system holds. From the enigmatic atmosphere that shrouds Venus in mystery to the tantalizing clues of its past, we've explored a world so wildly different from our own, yet instrumental in understanding the dynamics of terrestrial planets. But our cosmic exploration doesn't end here. In part two of our series, we'll set our sights closer to home, delving deep into the rich blue oceans, diverse ecosystems, and complex atmospheric phenomena of Earth before venturing to the red, dusty plains of Mars, a planet that has captured human imagination for centuries. We'll explore what makes our home planet a haven for life and unravel the mysteries that Mars holds frozen water, ancient riverbeds, and the ever-persistent question, has it ever supported life? Thank you for joining me on this journey to Venus. Your curiosity fuels our exploration, and together, we'll continue to uncover the secrets of our solar system. Make sure to subscribe to Rounus, and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on the next chapter of this incredible adventure through space. Until then, keep looking up and wondering about the worlds beyond our own. Goodbye for now, and I look forward to continuing our exploration of Earth and Mars in part 2.